Yo, yo. So it's been a while since I pulled out the old vlog camera. And trust me, I've been really wanting to do it, but just haven't had the inspiration or the energy or whatever. And it's been super hot. It's summertime, it's super hot. And so I don't always look my best on camera. Just kidding. It means that I love to sit around in the house in the AC and not really do anything. So anyways, today we're gonna go check out a couple new coffee shops and we'll talk about being an introvert and an extrovert. All right, see you in a bit, peace. So when I go on these coffee shop adventures, it's not as easy as it looks. Sometimes I'm catching multiple buses, walking around the city, uh, looking around different neighborhoods, trying to find where I'm going. It's not like North America where I hop in a car and in 10 or 15 minutes, I'm at the place I want to be. I got to go from neighborhood to neighborhood and that's part of the fun, that's part of the adventure.
don't get me wrong, I like good coffee. But the reason I go to coffee shops is not for the coffee itself. It's usually much more for the atmosphere. Um, I found that as I get older, uh, I'm less prone to seek out opportunities to be around people and more uh, excited to find spaces where I can sort of chill out alone and have some time to think. Sometimes I'm doing work on a computer, sometimes I'm reading a book, sometimes I'm just daydreaming. But really, it energizes me. For whatever reason, the trek out to a new coffee shop, it's about exploration, it's about adventure, it's about finding a new place, and it's about finding somewhere where I can be around people, but really be alone with my thoughts. And I don't know if you guys are the same or not, but uh, that's how it is for me. It's all about seeking out spaces where I can relax, be comfortable, and uh, just ponder the thoughts of life. I feel like if you knew me when I was younger, you would assume I was an extreme extrovert. And to be honest, I thought I was as well. I used to love being with the group, being a part of the action, and I especially loved being in front of a crowd. But as I think back on it, I realize I had a unique life balance. In public, I was outgoing. I was with people. I was a part of the show. But at home, I spent a lot of time alone. As an only child of a hard-working and busy single mother, I had a lot of space to myself. I got to listen to the music I wanted to listen to and watch the TV shows I wanted to watch. And I also got to spend a lot of time with my own thoughts. And I realize now that that time recharged my battery. It gave me the energy to get back out there and be a part of the action. And now that I have a family of my own at home, it's not always easy to find that alone time to recharge as an introvert. That's why these coffee shop adventures are so special to me. They give me that me time that I need to recharge so that I can get back to my outgoing self and be ready to be back with people again. All right, I'm off to coffee shop number two of the day. Um, I'm a little buzzed already from caffeine to be honest, but uh, when you're out in a new neighborhood, you gotta hit a couple spots. You can't just go to one. It's too much effort. So uh, let's check it out. Sometimes you're walking your way to the coffee shop and you come across a nice surprise. I'm gonna stop and grab a snack at Lucky Smash, which I'm guessing is a smash burger place. Sweet. This is a pleasant surprise. Pretty uh, stoked to have a little something to eat after all the coffee. So here we go, let's dig into our Lucky Smash Burger. It's not bad. It's no Shake Shack, but it'll do. Especially when you're on the streets of Chinwan and uh, yeah, pretty sweet find. Hello. 
So when I was young, growing up in Saskatchewan, I used to love summer, just like everyone else does, I guess. And I used to love playing basketball outside and skateboarding. And at one point I remember dreaming that someday I would live in a place where I could wear shorts year round. What I didn't know about at that time was humidity. So now I live in a hot country where I can wear shorts pretty much year round. But let me tell you, the heat is not all it's cracked up to be, all right? I sweat my butt off every day, pretty much. Okay, the winter dips a little bit, it feels better, but that only lasts for like two months. So uh, for those of you that have always dreamed about living in a hot place, just think twice a little bit because humidity is a whole new ball game. You'll sweat from every pore in your body, places you didn't know you could sweat. And uh, I am wearing shorts, super stoked about that, but I'm paying the price too. Just a thought. So I didn't really get to film inside this place. They just didn't seem comfortable with me uh, walking around with my camera, which is unfortunate. And I think it's kind of weird in this day and age of social media where so much of your uh, business hype gets spread through Instagram and Facebook and word of mouth through YouTube. Uh, it's a little bit weird to be shy about having a camera around. But either way, I had a good cup of coffee and enjoyed some time chilling out, so whatevs. I don't think I'll be back here though. Sorry, Bench. So that's one of my uh, typical coffee adventure kind of days. I hit up two new shops that I've never been to. Uh, they were both really good coffee. One had a good mood vibe and the other uh, didn't seem to want me around. So yeah, that's, uh, that's the story. Thanks for coming along and, and checking out these two coffee shops, uh, a surprise burger spot, and we happen to walk through a beautiful park that I'd never seen before. So yeah, this is the, the beauty of traveling around a new neighborhood, checking out my city. And hey, while we're stuck here, while we can't really travel, I might as well get to know our own places a little bit better. Thanks for coming along for the ride with me today. I'm gonna do my walk back to a bus, to another bus, and uh, head home now. So thanks for uh, checking out today, and I uh, look forward to being back on the vlogs a little more often. Peace out. Okay, so here's a fun thing that happens sometimes when you explore new neighborhoods. Sometimes on your way home, you take the wrong bus because you get nervous that your other bus isn't coming. And then you end up in a neighborhood you don't want to be in. I mean, not that it's unsafe, you just it's nowhere uh, near home. So now we're on adventure time again. Uh, I'm gonna walk about 10 minutes to the MTR, the subway. And I'm going to get on that subway and then I'm going to go to another stop and then I'm going to get out and I'm going to catch another minibus. But then I'll be home. Super fun adventure time.
So there you go, a little bonus adventure. Sometimes you get lost, sometimes take the wrong bus, sometimes you don't listen to Google Maps, oops. And uh, my ride home was too many buses, an MTR, and a whole lot of walking. But I made it, I'm fine, and it was a good adventure. That's life in the city. All right, thanks for uh, coming along. Peace out.